Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about the Pokemon Pros and um, yeah, very interesting type of what's happening in the Pokemon community uh, with the investments and the 400, 375,000 to be exact booster box, the fake booster box, their supposedly real booster box that they have damaged, I assume. Um, so basically the cards coming out of this real booster box are already damaged. Uh, even the Pokemon Guru admits that they're PSA 9s, which makes sense. I mean, they're shaking the box, they're taking the boosters from the box and then putting them back in. I mean, whenever you're dealing with very minuscule grading met, um, standards, you know, the difference between a 10 and a 9.5 is a huge difference in value. But it could be a nick on the booster pack wrapping. It could be any amount of things. And the fact that this box has traveled so much and has been bounced around, been carried in, you know, who knows what backpacks and slammed on the ground. I mean, I do not think these investors understand. Um, like they're saying, the bald guy was handling the packs, bending them, throwing them around and shoving them back in, into the box shaking the box around like a moron it's you know also i mean they're they're shooting on a potato they're shooting on a cell phone camera uh wouldn't even trust a guru with a dollar he looks sketchy as f anyone please really not trust a bold guy weighing the packs 100 percent stop watching after the first cringe pack opening a thick stamp box wow but ignorant let alone a fixed stamp war turtle, which wasn't a fixed stamp. It's not even mentioned about the blokes cringy. There are hundreds from Amazons. God, these guys are bad at this. Uh, he didn't put the cards in a penny sleeve. Really can't trust these guys. I'd be getting lean heart someone who knows their stuff properly. Lean heart was there and he didn't know what he was talking about. I mean, he said the box was legit. Oh, box opened. It's clearly not legit. And now I'm going to walk back. <laughs> That's how you know they're shady. That's how I know Lean Heart is a lawyer like me. The, the walk back to make it seem like you knew all along. Even though 20, uh, 10 minutes earlier you had said the box was legit. The lawyer walk back. Mm -mm -mm. The irony, those gloves are worn to handle the cards and then no sleeve before top loader. The cards will get damaged, absolutely clueless. Sleeves, please. Um, Glute Guru, not a clue on any of the Pokemon business apart from making money. So again, you know, uh, the guy has shades on. He doesn't even have a last name. This, not, not the Guru, the Asian dude. And I think the third partner is just off frame. I think I saw him in one of these screenshots. This thing is the weirdest transaction. Honestly, it's very dramatic, very drama, and I love it. I think it's great. Uh, if, if this happened Magic Gathering, I would love it slightly more because we probably would know who the characters are, right? These people, I don't really know who they are. They got shades on, obviously, you know, got to hide that identity. So I think when it comes to like buying, you need to buy from a trusted source that has something to lose reputation-wise. Like, no one knows who these guys are. I mean, it's crazy to me um, that, like, what is happening in the Pokemon community and what the Pokemon community accepts. So I know some people in Pokemon would say, oh, I don't believe him. I don't, but that's like Lean Heart, right? Lean Heart is the beacon of Pokemon, if you will. And he's there saying this box is legit. He's there shaking their hands, giving them fist bumps, right? I mean, you can watch the beginning of the first video. Only after, like when things are getting bad, does he back out. Then he says, oh, I wouldn't have bought the box. Oh, you know, this was damaged. Oh, the wrapper is not 20 years old. Oh, it's like, well, you could have said those things before the box is open, Leanheart, if you truly felt that way. Now, I know some people in the comments have said, you know, these guys are kind of like gangsters and they're friending. I didn't see that in Lean Heart. I mean, I just know that Lean Heart is a lawyer and that should, that's enough. Like from one lawyer to another, I know what this is. It's a walk back. <laughs> you know, I've seen it from other lawyers. 
it's like, oh, well, I made a mistake, but I can't tell my client I made a mistake, so now I'm just going to double down. <laughs> I mean, it's super clear that's what was going on in the video. I mean, what, 10 minutes, like literally like maybe five minutes, he was saying how great this box was, and then he opens it, and then they open it, and it turns out to be fake. And he's like, oh, well, it's not great anymore. I would not have bought it. And here's all the warning signs that I didn't tell you about before. Actually, in the warning signs, he said that the warning signs were actually what made the box legit. It's crazy. It just blows my mind. This is like happening in real time on live stream. So what can we learn from this? Uh, do not buy vintage boxes of Magic, Pokemon, or Yu-Gi-Oh. This happens all the time. In fact, it happened to a guy on, I think, Instagram. He bought a starter pack of unlimited or no no alpha beta and he opened them in fact let me pull this up he had to delete the video but i have evidence of it like they start deleting this like crazy like obviously this guy couldn't delete it because it wasn't his channel now if he had live streamed on his channel and they pulled a fake box you can be sure that the bot fake box will be deleted okay so let's see yeah, so let me read some of this stuff to you guys. Uh, so his name is Kyle. Uh, guaranteed that if the product isn't authentic, he'll refund everyone who bought slots, which had happened at least twice, including with the... So it is the unlimited starter deck earlier this year. Uh, let me take a look at the video. Or let me take a look at the thing. Um, so yeah, it was an unlimited starter deck. He had sold spots for it. And then um, it turned out to be fake. So that is very interesting. Yeah, so I mean, it's an unlimited starter box. You did what these people were trying to do and it was fake. Uh, his name is Kyle, his last name starts with an M. So that should tell you enough. He'll refund everyone who bought slots, which had happened at least twice, including with the unlimited starter deck earlier this year. So a person doing these box breaks or expensive starter decks breaks needs to offer that for anyone to buy. Full refund of anything at all seems out of the ordinary as it is open. So, yep. It truly is one of these fascinating things that is happening right now in the community, in the trading card community, where you have a lot of investors wanting to put dumb money, I mean, this channel is called Dumb Money, into a investment. And they don't really have like a use for it except to get clout, I think that's their goal because the boxes are the value. they're not making any money. Supposedly everything's going to charity, they're going to give boxes away to, um, People like Lean Heart, uh, sorry, not going to go give packs away to people like Lean Heart so they promote the event. It almost sounds like one of these things where they bought the box just to use it for promotional value. And that's why they're okay paying this dude $375,000 for it because even though the box is damaged and, you know, there is question, I'm, I would not buy a pack of from this because. Again, there is the the box was opened, the packs were put on the side, and when they were weighing the individual packs, the the rest of the packs, so when they were weighing one pack, the other thirty five packs were off camera. That should never have happened, and you know the people buying it immediately realized that. There's lots of people on the table, none of them you know. They could have done a switcheroo. And from the previous box that was open, it would be really obvious what type of switcheroo they would do, right? Uh, and even if they switched it with, you know, a light pack to a heavy pack or just a random pack that may have been heavy, it would be a considerable amount of value, right? Or if they had just created, you know, 40 or like 20 uh, light packs and then they switched, or I guess it would be 36, 18. So, um they created a whole side of light packs and then they just easily it would take about two seconds off camera to switch you know the half with the light pack half and no one would know the difference 
um, because it was resealed. Or maybe it was Wei. Maybe they were real Pokemon packs that they had from a different box. Because it seems like these guys have access to a lot of boxes. So what I would do is, I'll detail this a little later, is I would open another box, uh, get all the light packs, which are the packs without foil that have been weighed, um, try to pretend like I'm, I'm buffoon, right, which is what they're doing here, and then while weighing the packs, and then simply change one half of the side to the other half of the side uh, with my light packs. And now I will have some heavy packs, which then I can weigh again and then resell. That's what I would do. I mean, it seems like it's easy enough to do, and I don't see the consequence of doing it, because then I can say, oh, well, there must have been a misprint. You know, a Wizard Coast, ugh, they just didn't print enough heavy packs in this, and then how could I prove that it's different? But that's what I would do anyway. If I was a Pokemon guru with no uh, integrity, didn't care. Bye, guys.